You know, it's a sad state of affairs when you have a game that you love and you have a franchise that you support. And when they release a new game, they just absolutely shit the bed. They shit the bed in such a way where it's hard to come back from. And Battlefield 2042 is one of those games where I feel like it's going to be impossible to come back from. And I've beat this topic to death over the course of the last several months since its release, but I just can't help but keep continuing to talk about it because now it's been brought to my attention as I watch various YouTube videos and read various news sources that Battlefield 2042 has now reached less than 1,000 players on Steam per hour, I think. That's a number I didn't think they would ever hit. I knew it maybe would hover around the 1,000 mark, but... I didn't think it was ever going to reach less than that point, considering just how much the Battlefield community tried to defend this game upon its release when everyone and their mother was shitting on it. Now, I was one of these hopefuls. I didn't necessarily blindly defend the franchise or the game because I feel like if I had done that, I would have just been lying to myself. And I'm a pretty realistic and honest guy in most cases. When I know something is shit, I have no reason to defend it. I feel that way when it comes to wrestling. I feel that way when it comes to gaming. I mean, for Christ's sake, guys. The tagline on my channel is badass gaming, real opinions, and zero bullshit for a reason. I would never bullshit anybody or lie to you about what I think about a game, even if it meant being depressed, more or less, because one of my favorite games sucks, and I now have to defend it against people saying it sucks. I can't imagine what it must be like for Battlefield fanboys that defended this game for so long. And now there's another piece of news as if the less than a thousand players wasn't enough. That, and this is according to Battlefield Bulletin that I've read. The DLC that I think was scheduled for next month is now being delayed even further. So could you imagine over five months of zero, nada, nothing, content. I don't know what to say at this point. I don't know how anybody can possibly defend this. I really don't. It's just a shame. It's almost pathetic. It really does feel pathetic at this point. Because I wanted to enjoy the game. I really did. I tried several different ways to enjoy the game. When All Out Warfare wasn't doing it for me, I moved to Portal. And Portal is fun. Don't get me wrong, but playing the same old maps all the time with no new content coming to the mode and no progression to level up weapons doesn't really make for a long-term plan a good one at that when it comes to playing a more or less broken game. I, I honestly feel stupid because I wanted to wait, and I wanted to wait to release, because I pre-ordered the game. I paid the full $60 or whatever the fuck I had to pay to get the game. And I feel so fucking dumb. And I have no one to blame but myself, man. I have no one to blame but myself, because I knew people were shitting on it. I knew the game was probably going to come out really, really rough in the beginning. And I said to myself, let's see what DICE does to fix the game. Now, I wasn't openly defending the game like a lot of these fanboys were doing. I knew the game was probably going to be shit, but I hoped that DICE would be competent enough to learn from previous mistakes and fix the game in a timely manner. Then you have the holiday break where they were gone for God knows how long. Then you have the continuous updates, which would eventually break other things in the game, constant balance issues. It just didn't make for a fun experience. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to stop playing the game. And I feel as though I wasted that money. Now it's not money I can't get back. I probably have gotten that back tenfold by now through other ways. But it still weighs on my mind just how stupid and blind I was to the marketing. Hoping that this was going to be the greatest Battlefield game of all time. And I was so desperate to play a good first person shooter other than Destiny. Because Destiny was the only real first-person shooter I was playing. I didn't like what Call of Duty was doing. I hated the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. I did not purchase that game. 
I have no reason to ever purchase that game, and I'm glad that that game is getting shit on by the community. I don't even watch any of the Call of Duty YouTubers I normally watch, because, well, Call of Duty's pretty much shit, and the fact that after this game coming out in 2022, after that we have to wait two years for the cycle to more or less start over, God, I hope that this next game is going to be good, because if it isn't, a lot of people are going to be in for a very rough time. That's all I'm going to say, but that's besides the point. I wanted a game that was an alternative, and for a long time, when Call of Duty wasn't doing it for me, Battlefield was that alternative. Now I don't have an alternative for my alternative. I mean, Destiny is fun and all, and I enjoy playing it, but Destiny is a grind. I don't have time in my schedule to sit here for hours on end with multiple characters to grind on a game like that anymore. I have ambitions I want to achieve. I have things I want to do. I have jobs I want to apply for that are probably going to make me work ridiculous hours depending on what they're going to give me. I don't have time to play Destiny anymore. I want to hop on a, a game casually play for an hour or so every couple of days out of the week or every couple of hours in the day for a couple of days a week and just go about my life. I think I've reached that old man status where it's like 40 year old guy comes home from work and plays video games with his boys for two hours, spends some time with his family, eats dinner, goes to bed, does it the next day until he dies. That's what I feel like right now. I'm not 40 years old, I'm almost 25, but I have that old man mentality going for me right now. It's not a very fun thing to think about, ladies and gentlemen. I will be completely and utterly honest with you. God, I would kill to be fucking young again. I miss the days where I used to play Black Ops 1 on my Wii for an unholy amount of time. But that's besides the point. It's just a bummer. It really is just a bummer that it had to get to this point for Battlefield. And I really don't know if they should ever make another Battlefield again. I don't know if I can honestly purchase another Battlefield game again after 2042. I just can't. Not in good conscience anyway. Not in good conscience. So that's kind of my thoughts on the subject of what's been talked about throughout the course of the last week and a half or so. It's a shame. That's all I could chalk it up to. It's just a shame that things had to get to this point. So with that being said... I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. I hope you all enjoy your day. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, which is the most important thing. And if you want to see more from me, you can check out all of my social media links, including the 69 Whiskey Podcast, which will be starting up again very soon. Take care, everybody.